again from the garden. So I am out here this morning finally getting a bunch of my dahlia tubers planted. I actually should have planted these a couple weeks ago, but if you're following my channel at all, you'll know that we are in the middle of a big pergola build. And one of the posts for the pergola is actually right at the end of the dahlia bed. And I was just a little bit nervous about getting any of these planted while we were still working in that area. But all four posts are set, and so today I'm going to get a bunch of my dahlias planted. I'm not going to completely fill this bed yet because we still have to put the raft on top of the pergola, um, but I am going to get a bunch of them planted. So let me show you the space where they're going. Okay, so this is the bed where all of my dahlias are going. It is about five feet deep and 15 feet long. I'm spacing my dahlias about 18 inches apart to be safe. Last year I dealt with some powdery mildew on a few things, and so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen this year with these plants. Okay, so I figure that if I plant my dahlias 18 inches apart, I should be able to get about 32 dahlias in this space. That's three rows this way, and then that's 10 or 11 this way. I know I'll have to space them a little different around the pergola post. Now I know that not all of my dahlia tubers are going to fit in this space, and so I'm going to spill the extras over into another garden bed, and then I think I'm going to pop some at home in our landscaping for fun too. Um, now also in a previous video, I potted up some dahlia tubers just to see how they would do while they were waiting to be planted um, and so they're really looking good and so I have three of these these are going to go in the ground today and then I need to quickly go sort through the rest of my dahlia tubers the ones that have the most growth on them are the ones that I'm going to plant today and then the rest hopefully I will be able to get in the end of next week when the rest of the rafters are up so let me go quickly sort through those tubers Okay, so I have all my tubers sorted that I'm planting today, and I have all of my tags marked. Now, I used a special garden marker to mark these that will not fade over the summer in the sun. Um, I have a link to that down below. If you use a Sharpie, it will fade, and I want to make sure that I know all the varieties that I specifically planted this year. Um, I should also mention that a lot of the varieties I'm planting are all singles because I wanted to plant the biggest variety of dahlias possible this year since it's my first year growing dahlias from tuber, and then hopefully next year I'll be able to split and divide some of those tuber clumps, and then I will double my supply. And these dahlias I'm specifically growing for my cut flower bouquets, and so I'm guessing maybe August. I will have a lot of blooms. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping that that's the case, especially since I'm late getting these in the ground. Um, so let me show you how I'm going to amend my soil and then I will get ready to plant. So before I start planting, I'm going to do a little amending of the soil. This spring I actually came in with a layer of compost, so I have amended it once, but I want to add a little bit more to it because dahlias are really heavy feeders. So I'm going to come in with a layer of organic garden soil. And this is what I'm using. It's called Nature's Care. It's got a lot of good nutrients in it, um, like kelp meal and blood meal. So I'm gonna add a layer of that to the top of my bed. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of Biotone starter fertilizer over the entire bed, just to give them a little bit of a boost. I should also mention that this garden bed faces west, and so right now, early in the morning, this bed is nice and shaded, which is perfect for planting, but by midday, this is in complete sun and will be until sunset, and so it gets a solid eight hours or more of sun a day. Okay, let me start getting this amended. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just make the entire bed look so much better when it's mulched up and amended with really good soil like that? Um, I know I had put compost on in the spring, but you know, once it gets dry, um, it just doesn't look brand new anymore. So this looks so much better. Um, so I'm gonna start digging my holes. I'm gonna plant my dahlia tubers about four to six inches deep. Um, and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little Biotone starter fertilizer into the hole before I plant them too. So I have the start of these all laid out 18 inches apart and these are all single tubers that I'm starting with in the ground. 
and I have my tape measure laid out so that I know that they're all spaced really evenly. Um, now as far as supports, I'm going to go in when they start getting some really good growth and probably put a couple stakes in the corner of each garden bed and then run some twine. Um, I know the fence will support them that way, but I need to make sure that they're supported this way as well. So I'm going to dig my hole six inches deep. And with this new soil that I put on top, it really isn't going to take very much to do that. This soil was previously worked anyway, and it's not super compact. Oh, a lot of good worms in here. Okay, so I'm about six inches deep. I'm going to put a little biotone fertilizer, and then I'm going to put some of this new soil down in the hole too. I'm going to mix it all up, and Okay, so this one is called Small World, which if I remember right, it's a white palm dahlia. Um, so you can easily see the growth point on this. And so I want to lay this flat in my hole and then I want the growth point going up. There are worms all over in this soil. That is a really good sign. Um, so let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so there's my tuber. It's laying on its side and then the growth point is going up. So I'm just gonna cover it with soil and it should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to get the rest of these tubers planted and then I will show you what it looks like in the end. Now a couple of these have been coming out with broken necks and so as I pull them out, I'm just going to cut those off. You don't want to plant those in the ground because they could rot. Okay, so all of my tubers for today are in the ground. I ended up planting just 15 today. And then hopefully towards the beginning of next week, once we get the pergola finished, I can put everything else in the ground. Um, Cause I think I have about 25 more to plant or so. Um, but these are all in the ground and I can't wait to see them start growing this year. And that's it for this video. So coming up next, I'll have garden tours of both the cut flower garden and our vegetable garden so far. Those are completely planted, except for the rest of these dahlias, of course. And then once we get the pergola and garden shed finished, I'll have a complete transformation video of that too. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon.